Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is some upgrades from Tough Skins. Now I have done um, a few upgrades already, uh, these foam inserts um, that we did before, and I would like to give an update on that before we get started on these. Um, they're holding up great. Uh, there's nothing coming loose on any of these. They're, they're stuck down very well. And these things have probably been in here, I don't know, three or four months, and uh, I've not had any issues with them all. Uh, matter of fact here, let me show you this one right here. Um, you can see there's nothing pulling loose, even on this little corner here. Um, it's stuck down very well. So, uh, so those hold up really good. And I know a lot of you bought these and I hope you like them as much as I do. I still love mine and it still fixes the problem where my wife hated my cell phone rattling right here and, uh, it rattles no more. But today what we have is, uh, some rings, uh, for the vents, for the, um, air conditioner vents. Now, unlike the old rings, these are thick they actually cover the entire ring. So the old ones just went around the, the front part of it and you can still see the chrome on the inside, but these actually cover it all. And I would like to say that these two are actually thicker than these two. <clears throat> and there's a reason for that. The outside vents are actually deeper than the inside vents. So you have to make sure that the thick ones here go on the outside vents. Now you will wanna clean this stuff really well and uh, make sure they adhere good, but um, make sure you put these on the right place, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. There is one thing that I'm not gonna be able to put on because I've not taken the truck to um, have the headlights fixed yet, and that is the ring right here that goes around your keychain. Now, I will show you where this goes and what it looks like. I'll hold it up there, but they'll probably have to take my steering column apart to replace that uh, multi-function switch. So I can't put this on because if I do, they would just have to peel it back off to break the uh, console into the two pieces. So I'm gonna wait to put this on after I get the truck back. But I, like I said, I will open this and show you where it goes as well. I just won't stick it um, to the dash or to the um, console here. Now, um, or the steering column, sorry. Now the coolest thing that, that he sent me is this gear runner and what this does is let me show you right here you have this plate right here a lot of these are just black uh, mine is chrome because it is the platinum edition and they put the chrome platinum on it but this goes where that platinum edition is right here on the console and it just kind of makes the truck you know kind of your own it, it kind of puts a little bit of custom feature to it now my platinum edition emblem here is um chrome and I don't like that. So what I'm gonna to try to do is be very gentle and take some of these plastic um, door panel tools and take that platinum piece off. I think it should probably just be double-sided taped on there. At least that's what I'm hoping. And when I pull that off, I have you know full confidence that it's probably gonna say SR5 underneath it. Just like all the other consoles or all those pieces right there, most of them say SR5. And I, I can't believe that they made one just for the Platinum Edition um, that doesn't say SR5 underneath it. I would imagine it would be cheaper for the plastic mold to just say SR5 on all of them and then just put the little plastic emblem or the little Platinum emblem over top of that. So without further ado, let's put these things on and show you how to do it and then show you what it looks like at the end. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you how to do this. I do want to say, wait till the end of the video. Um, I do have a discount code for you guys so uh you can save 10 percent off everything you see here or 10 percent on anything their website i will link them in the description also at the end of the video um so check out them in the description and don't forget wait till the end of the video to get your discount code to save 10 percent okay now one of the first things you'll have to do is always clean it with alcohol just regular old you know 70 percent isopropyl alcohol and i'll just put some on like a paper towel here and then I'll actually just clean around these vents really good to make sure I get all the grease and everything off of them. Um, you want these things to stick really well, so make sure you clean them really, really good. And I'll just do all of them that way. Hope my arm is not in the photo too much. But just make sure you get cleaned up really good right here. And I'll just do all of them that way and I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, I got everything cleaned off real good and it seems to be dried. One good thing I do like how they did now is they leave these little uh, pieces right here stuck out so you can actually get a hold of it to peel it off the double side tape. 
and this is 3M double side tape. So uh, it is a good double side tape. Now what you wanna do is just line this up like so, and then just stick it on there. Right like that right there. You can see my vents will still move, no issues there. Um, and now all the chrome is completely hidden. You can see how this one looks versus how this one looks. And you can't see any of the chrome. It actually covered up all the inside right here and everything. I'll show you this. You see it, it completely covered up every piece of chrome uh, that was that was showing on that right there. So next, we're going to do, might as well while I'm over here, do the uh, driver's side one. Now, like I said, there is a thicker one. You can see this one is actually thicker than this one. Um, the thicker ones go on the ends. So let me move the camera over here where you can see it. Now this is gonna be a little tricky cause I'm gonna have to try to hold the camera with my leg and put this one on. So this should just go on like that and then just push it on like so. It's really just that easy. I mean, they, they line up perfectly. There's no issues. You can see the vent still moves. Um, they really just line up perfect. And then all the chrome is gone. So let me set the camera right here and uh, we'll do the other side. Okay, so I had to come to the other side to actually be able to do the other side. So let me make sure it's in view here. Okay, so you take the little thin one here and it goes over this one, right like so. I really think that is a lot better look than the chrome. I'm not a big, huge fan of chrome. So this is an awesome chrome delete, and it's also very, very easy to do. The last one, you do just like the other side. And there it is, it's just that easy. All the chrome is completely gone, and I think that looks great because I didn't like those chrome vent covers. So now, let's tackle taking off the platinum emblem and putting on the gear runner. Um, emblem instead. Okay, I know this is backwards, but this is the best angle I could get you at to see what I was going to be doing. So, um, let me set the alcohol out of the way. What I'm hoping is I can just kind of pull up on the corner of this right here. If I can get down in there without scratching anything is what I'm hoping. And just get this off. Now, if you don't have a platinum addition, you're not going to have to worry about this. And I can see right here that it is actually already pulling up. And it comes off just that easy. And right there it is. Now it did leave nothing underneath. I really thought it would say SR5. Um, I will keep this platinum edition emblem in case I ever decide to get rid of the truck or something. I will just peel this piece off and put it back down with some double side tape. Now to open up the gear runner one, I do want to see how this is going to look without that platinum emblem piece there. It's actually going to fit in there very nicely like that. Now again, you're going to want to clean that with some alcohol to make sure that piece will fit down in there. I love how this looks. Um, this that flat black with a red outline or the red gear runner in it. And that is why I did the Tundra on my Husky floor liners. If you've not seen the Husky floor liner mod video, I took out the Husky floor liner um, logos on the mats and put in a red uh tundra logo and that's why i did it was because i did red and black on this as well just clean that really good like that just make sure you get it nice and cleaned up it dries very quickly as you can see right there then just peel off this 3m tape on the back Now this one doesn't have a piece sticking out, so you kind of got to try to get a hold of it a little bit. But there it is. We're just going to set this down in here like so. That looks pretty even. And there we have it. Turn this around so you can see what's going on. And there it is. Personalized gear runner um, insert. Now here's what it was before. I did take pictures or a video before and after. Um, I did have this shiny platinum emblem. And now I have this nice custom gear runner emblem right there. There's one more piece I want to show you, but I'm not going to put it on, like I said earlier, because 
Um, they'll probably have to take this apart. You can see this is two pieces right here and they'll probably have to separate this to fix the light. But let me show you what that last piece is. Okay, so right here is the ignition key holder and this just goes around it like this. So like I said, you can get these in a lot of different colors and events and stuff like that. Now I did black because my truck's mainly blacked out. But because I did the gear runner in red, which is why I did the floor mats in red, and I think that looks really, really good. Um, but if you're doing like a red theme or a blue or something, they probably have these in about any color you can think of. So if you want a, a theme color on your ignition switch, you can do that. Or any of the vents and stuff like that, they do them in, in many different colors. Now I do have a promo code for you guys, and that is gear runner. 10 and it will save you 10 percent off your order um that is capital g e a r capital r u n n e r 10 all one word um, no spaces and that will save you 10 percent again um i think these are awesome i think it's really awesome mods um i love how it deleted all the chrome because i'm not a chrome fan at all and i think the gear runner right here in the center is an awesome touch now the truck, you know, is custom mine. Not that it wasn't mine before, but this just adds a little flair saying it's the gear runner truck. If y'all like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Go check out Tough Skins. I'll link them in the description below. Don't forget Gear Runner 10 to save 10%. We'll see y'all next time.